The Success Story of Hillary Clinton Hillary Diane Rodham, famously known as Hillary Clinton, was born on October 26 in 1947 in Chicago, Illinois. Little Hillary grew up in the suburbs with her two younger brothers named Tony and Hugh. Her dad, Hugh Senior, ran quite the successful drapery business, while her mother, Dorothy, was a humble full-time homemaker. As a young girl, when Hillary attended Maine East High School, she joined the student council, the school newspaper, and even participated in the school elections in her junior year, where she was elected as the class vice president. Despite her youth, Hillary was quite keen on achieving great things. One day, she wrote a letter to the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, NASA, to ask how she could become an astronaut. A letter was sent back to her informing her that NASA was not accepting women into their astronaut program. However, this rejection did not stop her ambitions. Hillary enrolled at Wellesley College in 1965 at the age of 18, where she majored in political science. Now, during her freshman year, she served as president of the Wellesley Young Republicans and as the leader of the group with its orientation towards Rockefeller, she supported the elections of John Lindsay, a fellow Republican, to mayor of New York City, and General Edward Brooke, a Massachusetts attorney, to a position of the United States Senate. Also, during her junior year in Wellesley College, Hillary supported the Democrat Eugene McCarthy's anti-war presidential nomination campaign. From 1968 to 1969, she served as the president of the college's government association where she organized a two-day student strike during the aftermath of Martin Luther King's assassination and even went as far as working with the black students to enroll more black students into the college. Also, Hillary maintained peace by actively preventing the college from participating in the student disruptions that became rampant among other colleges at the time. It was during that time that her fellow schoolmates commented that she had the potential to become the first female American president in the future. When she graduated from Wellesley in 1969, it was with honors in political science, and Hillary appeared in Life magazine as the first ever student in the history of the college to give a commencement speech. After her exit from Wellesley, Hillary worked quite a few odd jobs before she was admitted to Yale Law School. Where in the summer of 1970, she volunteered at the Marion Wright Edelman's Washington Research Project, which would later become the Children's Defense Fund. That same year, Hillary was selected to work with a subcommittee on migrant workers of a U.S. Senator by the name of Walter Mondale. After this placement, Hillary interned at the law firm of Trehoft, Walker at Bernstein in California where she worked on child custody cases, among others. Three years later, Hillary successfully graduated from Yale with a Juris Doctor degree. As she went on to postgraduate study, Hillary served as staff attorney at the Children's Defense Fund. Interestingly enough, she would proceed to the Capitol, where she would serve as a lawyer in the inquiry on the impeachment of the U.S. President at the time, President Richard Nixon. The work of this committee eventually led to Nixon's resignation. When questioned later in life on how hardworking she had been, Hillary would attribute it to something she learned from her father. She said, and I quote, My father was a small businessman, and if he didn't get up and go to work, there would be no business. Hillary first met Bill Clinton during her time at Yale. He was also a law student at the time, and they were wed on the 11th of October, 1975, a union that would result in a beautiful daughter, Chelsea Victoria Clinton, who they named after Joni Michelle's song, Chelsea Morning. In 1978, when her husband Bill was elected governor, Hillary became the first lady of Arkansas. However, Hillary did not sit still. That same year, her enormous political capabilities earned her the appointment as the chief of the board of directors of the Legal Service Corporation under President Jimmy Carter. She retained this position for two years until 1980, by which time she had enhanced the corporation's funding by more than three times over, from a measly $90 million to at least $300 million. All this as the first woman to ever serve in that position. 
After her marriage to Bill Clinton, who later became the President of the United States of America, Hillary took on many innovative tasks as the First Lady. In the late 1980s, Hillary achieved great success when she led the effort for education reform in Arkansas, so in January 1993, with the hope that she could recreate that achievement, she was picked to lead a task force on national health care reform. As the First Lady, Hillary was the host of various White House conferences, including one on early childhood development and learning in 1997. In 1999, she played an essential role in the Foster Care Independence Act that was passed, which increased the funds available for teenagers that aged out of foster care as well as hosting the first ever White House conference on philanthropy. Hillary traveled to 79 countries during this time, breaking the mark for the most traveled first lady. Hillary was one to seek higher positions where she could make real change. She kept on working hard and never lost sight of her goals. In 2008, Hillary ran for the presidency and won more delegates than any previous female candidate, but she lost to Barack Obama. In March 2015, the Inspector General for the State Department declared that when Hillary conducted formal business as Secretary of State, she had used her discretion to use personal email accounts on the privately maintained server instead of email accounts managed by the federal government service. She was then bombarded by officials, members of Congress, and, and even political opponents that her use of a private server violated federal laws, procedures, and protocols. Despite this barrage, Hillary stood her ground and said that she did not send or receive an email from her server that was confidential. She was not phased and continued with her work diligently. In her Democratic debate with Bernie Sanders on February 4, 2016, she said again and I quote, I never sent or received any classified material. They are retroactively classifying it. And on July 2, 2016, Hillary again reiterated and I quote, let me repeat what I have repeated for many months now. I never received nor sent any material that was marked classified. Upon the conclusion of the FBI investigation carried out concerning the controversy, she was vindicated when the FBI director, James Corney, gave his statement saying that Hillary was not technologically savvy enough to have committed the acts that she was accused of. In the 2016 general elections in America, Hillary was well on her way to winning the elections and becoming the first female American president, as had been her dream. But unfortunately, when the results came in, her opponent, Donald Trump, won the majority of the votes. The next day, Hillary gave a speech in which she congratulated Trump and offered to work with him on behalf of the country. As she concluded the speech, she said, and I quote, You know, scripture tells us, let us not grow weary of doing good, for in good season we shall reap. My friends, let us have faith in each other. Let us not grow weary and lose heart, for there are more seasons to come and there is more work to do. Over the years, Hillary was the proud recipient of various awards and medals for her outstanding contributions in the field of law and as a politician. To cap it all, she ensured that she was a force to be reckoned with in every role that she found herself. Thank you very much for watching our videos. We'd like to give you another interesting video for you to enjoy next. Well, before then, our team will be very happy if you can like this video and share it with your friends on social media. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Look at your screen now to see two other interesting videos we handpicked for you to enjoy next. We love you.